Hello, it's really good to see you here today for what's going to be a strength workout. It's going to be arms and abs. I'm going to be working with two different sets of weights today. I'm going to have a three kilogram and then a six kilogram. Usually working singles, but there is one or two of them they've just got a pair to work with. You'll need a mat because you could be getting on the floor as well, enough room to move about in, and a bottle of water. Our circuits today are going to be 50 10, so it's a, quite a fair chunk of work that you have to do. So just take it steady. If there's any adaptions, I'll let you know what they are. Otherwise, you are going to be working 50 on, 10 seconds off, and it's going to be a two minute circuit on each one before we move on to the next exercise. We'll be working in pairs until we get to eight minutes, and then we're going to move on to the next circuit. Okay, so if you've got all those things ready, just grab your weights, bring them down by side of you. We'll start with a warm up, and we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Okay, lovely, good. Just bring these up for me. And the arms coming over the top. I've already got my abs pulled in here. I squeeze the glute as the other leg raises. Okay, just bring it over. I'm going to kick out. Just give me that little raise of the arms. Just feel the shoulders are working for you. Open out the ankle. Core pulled in, rib cage down and in. Okay, just a little coming over the top down over the top down, just coming back to my hip each time with that arm, lovely good, up and over, now I'm going to go kick back, kick back with both arms, and just a little tap at the front, keeping your shoulders low, feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades as you open out that chest, lovely good, give me that squeeze, I'm going to do a little leg curl, leg curl here. Good, now bring up the elbows. Get me that squeeze as those arms just cross over each other, nice and strong. Still the same arms, but this time with the knee. I'm just pulling back. The knee comes to the front. I'm just going to a little push back with each elbow, little turn. And well done. Hold it here. Give me a roll of the hips. Then the other way. So I'm standing fairly upright, just pushing my hips back. I'm going to roll the arm. Just roll the arm back. Pushing my heel into the floor, my abs are pulled in. And I'm going to come forward on that. Dropping down. Coming up. I'm going to get on the other arm, just rolling it back, planting that foot, having those abs pulled in, leaning forward, and then a forward again. Coming up, walking out and in. Just get that drop, but feel that your arms are now coming up. Just pumping those arms. Suck up. Circle up. Lovely, good. Up in your toes. Now coming back in. Feel a little stretch between the shoulder blades. Holding it here. Out, squeeze it in. Out, squeeze it in. Give me this, those pecs working for me. Two, shoulders. Going down on one leg. Down on one leg, coming up. On the other side, just pushing those hips back each time. Stepping into the middle. Lovely, good. Just give me a little shake out on each. And we're gonna start with that first circuit. So on my first circuit, I'm just kneeling so you can see what my arms are doing properly. It's gonna be a tricep, inner tricep and outer tricep. For that 50 seconds, then it's going to turn over to the other side. I've been working with my freeze, so you can stand or kneel for this. And I'm going to grab my freeze. I'm going to be kneeling. And this is it. One comes up at the back. If you notice here that my wrist does stay straight. They both go out, they both come in, and all the time. Remember, it is an ab exercise as well, so keep your zip and hollow on, keep your belly button pulled in. Okay, are we ready to go? Three, two, one. It comes up behind me, it reaches up. 
My elbow is close into my head. There we go. And get that lift. All the way down, all the way up. My palm at the back is facing towards the back. And I'm getting that reach each time. Reaching up, using that inner tricep, and then lifting that arm. Not leaning back at all. I can stay in this position because I'll be down on the floor for my next one. We have got 15 seconds left. You have got five, three, two, one. I'm just going to change over arms for my second minute of work. My palm facing backwards. It's going to scoot up without me using my wrist. Wrists stay locked the whole time. And then I have to lock the elbow each time to get that tricep work. Before I move on to my heavier weights, both of my shoulders are down and they are level. So try and stay long in the neck and get me that lift. Now think about your rib cage, down and in. Belly button pull through into spine. Lovely. If you don't want to do this kneeling down, if you've got problems with your knees, you can always do it standing up. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, so just concentrating there. Get me that lift, get me that drop each time. Really work those triceps. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Good work. I'm coming over to my six. One foot in front of the other. I'm going to do one bicep curl, one stand up, using my core to do it. So, one bicep curl, stand up, come back down, give me that bicep curl, and push up. So a lot of this core, my abs, pulled in for that core exercise. Good, give me that squeeze. Try and stay with that heavier weight if you can. I've doubled up on my weight, so I'm working with threes and sixes. Good, strong. Again, you can do this standing up. If you feel you don't want to get the up and down, just give me that bicep curl. I'm going with one bicep curl, just to test my core here, as it's an ab exercise as well. And up. Squeeze. And well done. I'm going to change it over. One bicep curl, one lift up. Nice, strongly planted. I do my bicep curl. That weight comes with me for the lift. Drop it back down. Then bicep curl, then the lift. Good work. Well done, give me that lift. Pushing through that glute. Before I go back to my arms with that tricep. I'm trying to come straight up, I'm not leaning forward, don't let that weight take you forward. Use your core, down. Last few seconds, make each one a good one. Three, two, one, and good work. And back to my triceps. Staying here, nice and strong through. Abs are pulled in. I join them, I let them go straight. Now remember, as with every tricep, the secret here is that they both go really straight. They lock and up and down. Push the arm all the way up. The other one goes all the way down. Remember the palm is facing backwards on that lower one. So I'm using the inside of my tricep, which is really quite hard to use unless you're doing a band for resistance, pushing it away or lifting it as I am here to work out that inner tricep. Good work. You're doing great. Might be a little bit burly by now, my second Set three, two, one, and good work. Just that 10 seconds rest, and we go again. So, palm facing backwards, my wrist is locked, and drop and lift. Yeah, the 
and keep on checking your abs are pulled in, your belly button pulled into your spine, your zip and hollow on between your hip bones, your rib cage down and in. strong all the time. 
Good work. Up. Oh, put it back. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Okay, for my 10 kilogram weight, I have to get to the floor. Now this word, a little variation. You can go with one lighter weight if you want to because it is going to be a Russian twist with the six kilogram, four of these, but I am putting a roll down and a roll up on it. If you feel the roll down, the roll up is too much, you feel that you can't do it, you can do me some sit-ups and then some twists as well. Lovely, good, are we ready to go? Here we go, three, two, one. My heels always stay on the floor for that roll, then I can judge it here in that V-sit, and then I roll back down again. So just for a 10 seconds off in the middle, you'll be working for a whole two minutes. Lovely, good. So again, shoulders hit the floor. I keep my zip and hollow on all the time when I'm doing the roll. So I roll down, my head stays forward. Don't let your head hit the floor. Come back off again. And here, you can have your feet on or off the floor, up to you. But do make sure you look at that weight. It's quite easy just to get the arms to move. Lovely. And down. Uh, good work. I'm going to do a second set of those. You have to feel it in the front of your shoulder as well if you kept with that heavy six kilogram weight. Lovely, good. I'm rolling down. And then up. Now you can also choose to have your feet off the floor. Up to you. How you feel on that. And then I roll back down again. Up. Down. Keep it strong. Maybe if you want to do those sit-ups instead. If you feel that roll is too much. Not quite strong enough yet. I'll do the second one with my legs off the floor. It's up to you. Legs on or off, but they are on the floor. When I do my roll down, my roll up. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. We're coming to standing. Let's do that three kilogram game. Here we go. One leg back, one leg forward. I've got that space. Up. Okay, so now I really begin to tell on my shoulder, shoulders, because I had them holding that six kilogram weight all the time for me for those two minutes. Lovely, good. Do feel that your palm is towards the floor when you finish that. Try not to let it help by sort of trying to tuck it under. Keep it straight. Up, oh, pull it back. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. And good work. You're doing good. That long lever is hard to work as always. Core pulled in, shoulder blades back and down. Up, oh, pull it back. Good work. Keep that shoulder blade pulled down and in. So that arm can extend, but in a strong position. You are using your core. Remember, it is an ab workout as well. As well as the obvious abs, I am using my core. 20 seconds left now. Last time you'll be doing that on this arm in this session. Lovely, good. So work it hard. 10 seconds left now. You are doing good. Well done. Through to the end. Last few now. Three, two, one. And well done. I'm onto the floor. Either your sit up and then the Russian twist or the roll and then the Russian twist. Zip and hollow on. I roll down through my spine. My zip and hollow is still on. My belly button's pulled in. I could be here, just back in my V-sit to get my 
Russian twist going through. Then I go back down again, roll through the spine, roll it back up, get your back nice and straight at this point, and then do me the twist. Lovely. I'm really working that core on that roll, then my obliques to get me that twist through the waist while my hips stay nice and steady. You've got 15 seconds before you get your 10 second rest. Single figures now, work it all the way through to the end. Give me that twist, three, two, one. Well done. I'm going to do that again. Just get ready to go. Heels on the floor, weight in front of me, and then drop it down, come up. Again, feet on or off the floor. I'm just showing you that different version if you want to do it, but your heels are on the floor for your roll down, your roll up. That's it, lovely. Good work there. Give me that twist. 25 seconds left. Second time through. So it's the last time you'll be doing this on this round in this session. So work it all the way through to the end. 15 to go. Roll it up. Good, and then down. Three, two, one. And well done. We are coming back up to do my three kilogram weight on a different exercise. I've moved into my third round. Doing good, you don't get much recovery in any of these. I'm going to work with my one three kilogram weight. It is going to be one squat, one Y raise, one with my knee to my elbow there. And again, it's gonna be using my core on that last little bit. Okay, are we ready to go? A few seconds left in that recovery, and then we go. Nice, strong, I get one squat. I go out, I come back in again. Out. Remember what I say about long levers, they are harder work. I'm out in a Y, but that makes it even harder than if I was going straight up. Do make it that Y position, Y out, lovely good, and then up. Out, I bring it in, good. So give that little squeeze, out, bring it in. Then it's just by my shoulder to start the next one. Can we get your lat pull down as well? When I do it here, it's the lat pull down to get that squeeze. Out, lat pull down. And well done. On to the other side. That long extension does work that shoulder really well, but you need that shoulder strength. There we go. Drop. Out on my Y, in with my knee. Down, out, everything else stays even. Lovely, good. So really, zip and hollow on here. Then my bleed works slightly to get that knee to come up as well on one side. My glute on the other side gives me that squeeze. Lovely, good, just on one arm, one leg. all under control. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. Now I'll bring you down back onto the floor into a nice box shape. And I'm going to put this six kilogram weight onto my back. So it's just gonna sit there on my back. So again, it's just above my hips and it's gonna be a stability one in that I'm here, I'm going to let one leg, one arm go out, bring them in. So I'll be doing that and that stays the whole time. So it's gonna be 50 seconds on one side, 50 seconds on the other. 
Here we go. Stay in that nice box all the time. Zip and hollow on. Leg goes out, arm goes out. I bring them back in. That weight does not move around at all. If you want an extra challenge, you can kick with that leg, then it comes in. So it is like a Pilates, floating arm, floating leg. Nothing else moves. Your belly button's pulled in. Your zip and hollow is on. Lovely, good. We have got 20 seconds left. Now, I'm just looking at the floor. I'm not letting that shoulder come up. It's about extending the arm, extending that leg into those long positions. If you can feel you can only do one or the other, that is also fine. Do it. Arm just or the leg, or just the legs out along the floor. Three, two, one. That's good. Now get to the mindset, I'm going to do the other side. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So again, I can start low. See how I feel about that. Again, this other shoulder is staying away from my ear. Don't let it come up. Lovely. And once you feel you've got it, out. Kick with the heel. Make that glute and the hamstring work for you. Lovely, good. There's lots of weight on this other arm as well. If you get that leg all the way out, you'll feel that work. I'm not letting the other shoulder come up. The one with the arm extension is just floating away from me. 15 seconds left. Go work. Three, two, one. And well done. I have to come up to standing, so be careful how you get rid of that six kilogram weight. I'm up into that squat, the weight extension. And I start with my first arm. Up and out, just hold it there for that little nanosecond at the end held, then comes in. Good work. Nice straight back into that squat. Shoulders back and down. Looks like this here, Y, and that nice straight back out at the side. Bring it in. Feel it in the shoulder, especially if you've got that long Y going on. Single figures now. We're almost there on this arm. Last time you're doing this arm in this circuit. And well done. We're on to the other side. 10 seconds for your recovery. And then we go again. And again, both of this, both this little mini circuit is all about having that stability when half of your body is working. Lovely, good. So keep strong, keep strong through the abs. Keep that stability. I can only keep that stability by really working on those abs all the time. Push, out and up. Lovely, good. Long Y, bring it in. And again, I'm getting that little squeeze down with my lats underneath my shoulder blade at that point there when that elbow comes into the thigh. Squeeze it in, feeling strong, feeling secure in that movement. Good work. Out, three, two, one. Well done. Onto the floor. Bend your lower back into that nice box position. I go out with one arm, one leg. Opposites. And again, I'm keeping that weight super steady on my back. My belly button's pulled in. My zip and hollow is on. Good work. About to finish your third circuit out of four. Rib cage down and in. Belly button pulled in. Last few seconds on this side. Remember, get those lats to pull down that shoulder blade all the time. So that arm just floats. Three, two, one. I just get my mindset into the other side. Okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one. Keep it steady. You can go as slow as you like. Slow is almost better, then I get that kick out at the end if you want to go with that full leg extension. So you know your hamstring's working for you as well. Core is pulled in. That weight stays super steady on my back. Good. Those lats pulling down that shoulder blade on my arm extension. Think about that zip and hollow being on. Strong round the hip area. Into single figures now. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. We are moving on. Last and final circuit. You'll just have to grab that six as well. And I'm going to keep it just at the end of my mat. You'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to be doing a fly, chest fly. Every time my arms go down, my legs come in. So this is going to be an arm and a leg and an ab exercise at the same time. Okay, are we ready to go? So when your arms go down, squeeze in. Now again, you can choose the weight that you want to do these with. If you feel free, it's too heavy or not enough. I have got my elbows bent. It's not a completely straight arm. They go down. I get that curling. And again, I do not lift my legs and do this with my sit-up. Remember, it's about bringing those knees forward and they're closed. Having those long abs work for you all the time. Out, back in. Now you can really go for this. This last circuit is only going to be a two minutes on my fly and reverse curl, and two minutes on my six kilogram one. I'm just going to hold those weights there. Give my hip flexors a rest, give my arms a rest. It's only 10 seconds, so here we go again. Three, two, one. Out with those arms and squeeze it in for me. Lovely, good. So remember, this is your last 50 seconds on doing this exercise here today. Keep it in control. Try and get that coccyx off the floor. Good work. Well done. Bring that in. Feeling it in the abs. Lovely, good. Oh. Just 
dropping that single leg. If you've got a bent leg and you feel that you've still got a little bit of strength left, just don't go down as far with your straight leg. You can go halfway down, or if you can, all the way down. I get a little squeeze on my glute at the end. My hip flexors open. Three, two, one. Good work. Are we ready? This is our last two minutes of work. It's going to be here and then it's going to be up. Elbow out. Okay, squeeze it over me. Halfway through, I'm going to give you the option, uncross the legs, and you'll notice that the work is really much more difficult on that second half of this set. You're only doing one minute one side, one minute the other, and then you are done. Okay, get ready for this slightly harder section on this. I'm going to float that leg. If you feel you can't float it, but it's out and down, that is also fine. But notice the difference now. Much harder work, especially if it's floating. I've got my glute squeezed the whole time, but now you are in single figures. So work it through to the end. Lovely, good. Five, three, two, one. Oh, that's good work. Well done. I'm going on the other side. So again, if you feel you can't do it, lift it up. It can be on the floor. If you can, lift it. Head up. Opposite elbow coming over without the elbow coming across my face, remember? Keep it good. Here's your last minute of work. You've done really, really well today. Better do all of that through arms and abs. Get ready for that change if you want that change. Three, two, one, here we go. Last 25 seconds. Squeeze, I say squeeze the glute on that long outside leg. 15. You are almost there. Let's work it through to the end now. Let's go, go, go. Here we go, eight seconds. Oh no, I'm feeling it too. Squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and well done. Good work, I'm taking off that timer. Good work. And just something a little bit slower to do our stretches out to. Well done, I'm just there. And we go through a stretch out. Long arms up over the head for me. Just want yes, it want it on. Oh, good work, well done. Reach it up over your head, toes down, arms up. And really get that stretch. Should feel great on those abs. You're really working hard for me at the end there. I've got that arch underneath my back, my rib cage is up and out. Just getting a really good stretch out over all those abs. It's just worked hard for me. Feels nice to have them stretched out. Lovely good. So I reach up and over. I keep a little zip and hollow on. My arms, my shoulder blades are on the floor. I'm going to bring one arm up and over so it's just going to get a little reach out. So again, little reach out. Then it comes up over my body. Keep staying straight and the other arm is just going to come down on top of it and squeeze it into my chest. Now make sure this elbow is away from your shoulder. Okay, coming up, out on the other side, give me that stretch out. Up and over, long arm straight to the elbow and feel that stretch through the back of the shoulder. My leg just comes up, I hold it onto it, I look at my leg, that goes down, I come up, and I'm going to sit back. Now if you feel you can't sit back right on your knees, you don't want to open them out, do get your bottom back and then walk your arms forward. And if you can, especially if you're sitting down, you can get your forehead onto the floor and give me that long big stretch. Just using that back, upper back stretch which kept us focused through all of that. Lovely good, I'm bringing my hands down onto my lower back, I drop my shoulders down away, I squeeze my shoulder blades together and I get a lift. Really opening out that chest. 
that'll be good, I'm coming forward. I'm gonna come into a downward dog, so I'm just pushing my weight up and back. And here we go, up and back. Lovely, good, I'm walking my hands back. Bent knees or straight knees, up to you. But if you're gonna come back past your lower back, really keep your zip and hollow on if you've kept your legs very straight. And we come up to the top. Good work, I'm pushing back. Get me that lift. Tricep stretch out. I'm pushing back. I'm softening that front leg. And I'm gonna change it over into the floor there, soften it, lift it, and that tricep stretch. Good work. I'm just gonna loosen off those arms. I'm just going to do a squat with a scoop down, so watch out behind you. A little down at the bottom, coming up and tall. And then again, and get me that reach up. And I'm gonna do one more of those. Reaching up, coming back down, and then a push down. Very good work, well done. So again, those extra long circuits of 50-10 is a long chunk of work to do. So feel very, very pleased with yourself if you managed to do it all the way through, and if you managed to up those weights to so that double weight each time. And again, the abs, not only about crunching, they're also about stability as well, and that's really worked them hard today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed teaching it to you and I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.